hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl is near williams how are you all doing hope you guys are doing great hope you guys are having fun so it's a beautiful day and i'm here to give you guys um the gist of what has been happening with your favorite celebs and your favorite people okay so i'm gonna start on a very good note yeah i don't have much today so i'm gonna start by saying a big congratulations to mike yes the president of Cruistopia. yeah i think that's what they are called abby yeah the president of Cruistopia himself he was just unveiled as part of the mistibushi motos nigeria family so now um hmm, a lot of people were like oh is it like an endorsement is it whichever one it is all i know is congratulations because it is not easy it isn't easy to be part of a car company not just any car i know mr bush i think it's an indian company i think so if i'm wrong please correct me in the comment section so whichever one is not easy and um i saw the ads if you guys want to see the ads go to his um channel no not his channel his page on instagram aries and the video was actually shot by Elo Zenam. I like the way they are supporting each other, really. I love the way they are supporting each other because that's how we grow, by supporting each other. So a big congratulations to him. Now, moving on. So two days ago, okay, you all know the background of this one. You all know about the EK and Mercy thing, how Willie XO came in, how Mercy told us she's going to bring... A land, she might bring a London boy home and all that. So baby girl make good on her word. And she actually brought a London man home. A gentleman like Willie XO. Yes, guys. Willie XO touched down Abuja. Yeah, he touched down Abuja, Nigeria. That was like two days ago. So a lot of people were like, oh, our in-laws or our in-law is in town. So mercenaries, behold, your in-law is in town. Before I go on, guys, so I'm going to be dropping um some of my collection. It's going to be like a limited um kind of limited version or something like limited edition of my collection and it's for us really you guys like really 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 motivated me to do this so um yeah when it drops i'm gonna let you guys know i might just do an unboxing or something something so please patronize your girl okay so moving on let's talk about something that happened yesterday this thing happened like it's it blew out of proportion now you see this picture of mercy this very beautiful picture of mercy right here this is part of like this is like the whole thing that started the issue so this picture was posted on royal has um their page on instagram yeah that picture was posted on their page on instagram and let's let's face the fact mercy is beautiful let's leave everything that hair is beautiful you know if i can afford it right now i'm gonna get it even though i'm not a fan of wigs but if i can afford it i'm gonna wear it on my head it is not a crime to wear a fine hair anyways so um they posted this picture and tatcha liked this picture and she commented beautiful then she used the fire emoji twice that like it's fire it's hot it's beautiful now we all thought this should be like a harmless you know comment you know you go you like you comment but no a lot of people were not having it like that the last time i checked tatcha's comments alone had about almost getting to two thousand replies mm -hmm, just because of that in fact it sparked a lot of outrage it sparked a lot of conversation all through last night even to this morning in fact like a lot of people felt tatcha okay i'm gonna talk about this first i didn't expect tatcha to do this but she did i feel it's cool you know a lot of people don't understand something let's say tatcha liked it it was not on mercy's page this was a post made on royal hair page and you all know both tatcha and mercy are both brand ambassadors of that royal hair yeah and tasha is also the face of royal hair according to when you know what they said when she was unveiled so she was admiring a hair you know that's what that's my own viewpoint you know i felt she was admiring the hair on the head because you know whether you like mercy or not let's leave it that hair looks so beautiful on her yes if i'm if i can afford it and i really want to buy it just because of looking at her i'm gonna buy it so she said that you know admiring the hair because she has to admire the hair because it's her brand 
It's a branch is represented. So a lot of people were not having it. Like mercenaries went, ah, I couldn't, I couldn't. A lot of people, you know, what really brought me down was a lot of, a lot of them were not dragging Tasha's late mom into the whole thing. I'm like, are you serious? Even Mercy that her picture was liked hasn't come out to say anything. So why are you guys doing this? Like, and some people were of the opinion that, oh, Tasha has now considered to defeat, that she's now trying to acknowledge that Mercy is her boss, that Mercy's pepper is too much. Meanwhile, some people were like, um, Tasha is being the bigger person. That is why she liked the picture. Guys, whatever it is, let me know your opinion about this thing in the comment section you know a lot of people went out you know posting the comments i am not going to do all those things i'm not going to post all those vile comments because it's i'm not in the business of painting anybody black or anybody bad so um yeah that's about it so guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section do you think this whole titan and mercenaries you know um or the comments you know that we're attacking touches um lip mom does it have anything to do with this picture or do you think this picture is wrong if it's wrong let me know why in um in the comment section and your reason so yeah that's basically it for today yeah that's basically it talking about ultimate love um they are still there they finally got to use the jacuzzi today i'm still wondering about this obab people seriously it was fun initially you know watching them it was fun i just felt they were like not a joke like they made me laugh yeah but at some point now it's almost like ab is losing herself to that guy ob like um he was not happy that she went to the jacuzzi you know to enjoy the jacuzzi with other people and he said he himself even the other party he said he doesn't dance to worldly songs he only dances to gospel songs uh what else does he even say like basically that guy really really i'm like what is all this please if you know what is going on with obab please let me know in the comment section um rosie is gradually gradually warming up to kachi Ike and um, Teresa are, you know, in love with themselves. Um, hmm. You all remember, I don't know if you watched, but you remember the whole issue after the whole nomination thing that happened with Bolanle and uh, Mike Cherry and J. Coco and Lois. Yes, if you don't know what happened, let me just tell you what happened. So apparently, after the whole nomination, a lot of people, you know, we're not happy, some we're happy, some we're indifferent, whatever it is. So um, I think um, there was a discussion with Bolanle before the... Uh, um, Jello had with Bolanle or J. Coco had with Bolanle before the nomination thing. So she now went and, you know, I think she told Bolanle why she nominated Mike Cherry. Bolanle then went to tell Michael and that was where everywhere escalated. J. J. Coco was not having it. At some point, even, um, what's her name? Cherry almost fought. Yes, physically. Like, they had to... OB had to, like, carry her off. It was... I'm like, why did they even carry her off? But then I remember, this is not Big Brother. Because if it's Big Brother, I'm going to love the drama that's going to be coming. Anyways, that's what happened. And Arnold had noted, well, she, he defended his woman outside, but went inside and gave her that talk. You know that kind of talk? When your man talks to you, like, you know you are wrong. You know. Inside you. Inside your soul. You know you are wrong. But you just don't want to... You know, she felt it. But at the end of the day, they settled. At some point, you all know Mike Cherry are like the touchy touchy couples. You know, they like touchy touchy touchy. And uh, Michael told Cherry that at some point they got to like reduce the whole, you know, kissy kissy thing. And Cherry was not having it. Well, that's about it, really. I'm just looking forward to the ex party that's going to be holding this week. Yes, the ex party. What it means is they're going to be bring their exes, like their crushes, their ex, you know, girlfriend, ex husbands. No, none of them has ex-husbands. Ex-girlfriends, ex-fiancés, ex-situationship partner, ex-community boo, whichever one, they're going to be bringing them to them and they're going to be having a party. I'm just so looking forward to that and looking forward to, you know, how it's going to play out and who is going to be evicted. I'm still looking forward to that. So, guys, that's about it for today. If you have not already subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on that notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. So, guys, take care of yourself. Please make sure to help me watch my ads, you know. 
yeah just help me watch the ads just 30 seconds don't shoot that 30 seconds go and eat popcorn eat suya do whatever you want to do you know and come back and watch so guys thank you so much for being part of my channel take care of yourself and have a beautiful day ahead bye guys